Yo, what's up, YouTube? Beer Pressure, episode number 23. Today, what we have for you guys is Sonoma Cider. Or Sonoma Cider. One or the other. Let's see. Something here. different for the Beer Pressure episodes. We just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Throw yeah. you a curveball. Now we got Cider for this episode. Certified organic, 6% alcohol by volume. All right, guys. Let's crack this open and get straight into it. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's got a nice amber color to it. So it is foamy, it looks pretty nice, very citrusy. It smells incredible, I love that. But that's cider for you. Yeah. Pear cider called the Pitchfork. Now, cheers. Cheers. I drink pears. <laughs> it's, it's good. Hmm. Now, let me get into the price of this. Two seventy nine dollars a bottle. Got it, a total wine. Not very expensive. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the carbonation. Why do I bring this up first? Well, that's because <clears throat> it's got a whole lot of it. Um, the second part that I would like to talk about... The carbonation is, is pretty high. Initially. Yeah. But that's cider for you. Exactly. Now, the taste... Tastes like pears. <laughs> um, but it's not a bad thing. If you like cider and you know fruit kind of, fruity kind of drinks, I don't mean that in a negative way. If that's just how it is. If you like fruit drinks, then go get it. It's, it tastes really good. But the pear taste isn't that strong. It's not there. Really. Hmm. How can I explain this the best way that I can? So you know it's a pear cider, but at the same time, the aftertaste... It goes away right after. To me it does. That's actually. a good way of putting it, yeah. It's not that dry. I've, I've tasted drier uh, ciders. The taste... It's not that strong, but it's there. You know it is. Uh, the carbonation, I just can't get over that one. That's just, it's really high, but just like you said, just like I'll tell you, it's just a cider. Um, there's something about it that I can't really put my finger on, but it's just something I can't describe it. You guys are going to have to try it out for yourselves. Let us know how you feel about that. Is this for beginner, novice, or advanced? I uh, think it's for beginners. Obviously. Very low beginners. <laughs> yeah. Can't really even taste the alcohol in it, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, for occasions. Celebrations, would, maybe. Like birthday. Yeah. Somebody, somebody that doesn't really like beer. Maybe for somebody who is just getting into beer, maybe? Not really. Mm. I wouldn't recommend someone drinking this and then getting into beer because that, that's two different things. Yeah. Alright guys, so that's definitely going to conclude <coughs> this episode. If you've tried it before, let us know. 
Uh, comment what you think about the cider over here. Definitely. If you guys have tried it by some off chance, I mean, this was kind of hard to find. Um, and it's called I the, haven't seen it anywhere else. It's called the Sonoma Pear Cider Pitchfork. Yeah, there's really not too much to say about it. It kind of just is what it is. So, nothing too interesting, nothing too different. It's what you would think it would be like. Anyways. Well, that'll wrap it up. Yeah. If you like the video, comment below. And Definitely. Let us what you think about it. Very, there's a lot of carbonation. <laughs> yeah. <burping. laughs> I know, I'm not trying to burp into you guys' face and all that, but yeah, I'm getting the burps like crazy with this. Anyways, thank you very much for, uh, for staying tuned in listening to our beer reviews and we would look look forward to the next one we have a very interesting one can't wait for you to see the bottle in the next beer review yeah and peace peace